Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're doing well. My name is Juan, welcome to my channel. Today I am giving away another really cool set of Final Cut Pro transitions that I created myself. They are completely free for you to download and use on your videos and they are simply drag and drop into your timeline. Let's head into Final Cut Pro 10. Let me show you a few ideas on how you can use these transitions. And at the end of the video, if you don't know how, I will be showing you step by step how to properly install them just so you don't have any issues. If you do just want the transitions, that is completely fine. The download link is down below in the description. It is the very first link. You can't miss it. That will take you to a Dropbox folder and you can download the transitions from there. With all that being said, let's get started. All right, guys. So here we are inside Final Cut Pro 10. And these are the four transitions that I'm giving away today. It is a diagonal slide left down, a diagonal slide left up, a diagonal slide right down, and a diagonal slide right up. These other two transitions right here I created in the first pack that I gave away. And if you're interested, I'm going to leave a link up above right now so you guys can download those as well after this video. Now let's head into our timeline and I'm going to show you guys once more that short B-roll sequence you saw at the beginning just so I can briefly explain what you can do with these transitions. Okay, brilliant. So if we head over here to where the transition starts coming in, this is the diagonal slide right down. If I go frame by frame, you guys can see that it's sliding in and it will add a slight desaturation to your footage and then the color just comes back in really nicely. Do not worry that however you've color graded your footage, it's gonna look exactly the same after the saturation comes back in. It will only affect the first part of the transition and then the color comes back in really nicely. So I like how that turned out and I'm sure that you guys are gonna be able to create some really cool stuff. So last thing I wanted to show you before I explain how you can properly install these if you don't already know how, is head over to this footage right here and I'm gonna drag in the diagonal slide left up into the footage and show you guys the one setting that you guys can change with this transition. So if we head over into our inspector and we have the transition selected, the one setting that you guys can change is the speed. So this refers to the actual flow of motion of the transition. So I have it by default set to constant, but you guys can mess around with these. It will change a bit just how the transition flows in. It will be subtle because Final Cut Pro defaults the transitions to one second. And depending on how long your footage is, you can expand those transitions and make them longer. So that is the one setting that you guys can change. And yeah, I really like how all these turned out. I hope that you guys enjoy them and thank you so much for watching. And now for those of you that don't know how to properly install transitions, I'm going to show you real quickly. First thing you are going to do is head down into the description of this video and you're going to click on the very first link. You can't miss it. That will take you to a Dropbox folder. The Dropbox folder is called Juan Nino Transitions 2 and here are the four transitions. So you don't need to touch this. All you need to do, you don't need to sign in or anything, is just go to the download option and hit direct download. That will download Juan Nino Transitions 2 zip into your downloads folder. So we're going to double click on the zip drive and that will open up one Nino Transitions 2 folder. Inside this folder are four transitions. So next thing we are going to do is hit Command T to open up a new tab on our finder. And we're gonna head over to our home tab into movies, motion templates, transitions. Here are all the transitions I have installed in Final Cut Pro 10. So we wanna drag this folder into the transitions folder. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna double check and make sure that transitions folder is synced correctly. So we're gonna head back into the second tab. We're gonna right click on the transitions folder and we're gonna get info. Let me move that over here so you guys can see it. So under name and extension, it should be transitions.localized. That means that it is synced with Final Cut Pro 10. So that is perfect. And now we can head back to our first tab and I'm going to drag one unit transitions two into the second tab into the transitions folder. Here it is, so that's perfect. And when we head back into Final Cut Pro 10, you guys can see that it's created a new tab for Juan Nino Transitions 2. You guys can obviously organize that however you want, but just make sure that your folders are localized so you don't have any issues. And yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy these. I am gonna be coming out with another pack of transitions next week, so stay tuned. 
and I will see you guys soon. Take care.